Okay. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the beveled frame method. Um, basically, it is what it says it is. Uh, you start with a piece of wood and uh, you put a bevel down one side. Now this bevel is half of the dihedral angle. So with this system you need to know the dimensions of the triangles and the dihedral angles between them, but you don't need anything else other than that. Uh, in, in this um, example here, uh, you have a, this is for a two frequency, uh, the angles on this are for a two frequency. Um, you can just cut that from a, a, a piece of uh, timber. Uh, I usually use fairly standard softwood. Um, but if you cut it like this, you're going to end up with a piece of waste. Um, an alternative is to use a thicker piece of wood and cut down the centre and then you have no waste, you'll get two pieces of timber from each batten of wood. Uh, so that's a little bit more uh, efficient. Um, see where we're at now. Uh, obviously, once you cut two, uh, let's just look at this top one. You've got your two bevels cut, uh, and then your frame is made by joining those two bevels together. Uh, now this is the uh, thing about the beveled frame is that this angle here is a right angle uh, and this face is flush with the face of um, the panel, the triangle panel on the dome. Okay, we've had a look at how you make the struts with the beveled edge uh, and that's how it gets its name. Now we we'll look at the build method. Uh, you have three um, struts, uh, you have a jig and you then fix the struts, screw the struts together around the jig um, just in that you have only cut one on one end, you leave these um, studs sticking out and you can cut them off after. These are cut off after uh, with a flush cut from the saw. Um, the advantages of doing it this way are that there's no compound angles. Um, these are the, your back edge here. I mentioned was at 90 degrees, so all those cuts are from 90 degrees on a standard saw. Um, it's the angle at each tip of the, of, a, of your um, triangle panel. Um, screwed together and then trimmed off flush. Uh, that gives you a um, triangle frame like that um, and then it, it obviously has a bevel on all of the outside edge so when you join a, uh, another one to it it kicks up and that's what forms the curvature of the dome when you join all of the frames together uh, it'll look a bit like this you can see that the, there are no hubs uh, so you avoid the cost of hubs, everything's uh, flush to the front, all your frames are flush to the front so you, if you put some plywood on there is no voids or gaps um, and there's a, a host more um, advantages to using this system. Okay, let's uh, start with um, polythene. Uh, to cover in polythene you would uh, join three frames together, um, wrap the polythene round tightly uh, and then staple it to the edges. Uh, where you staple it to the edge, um, the staples will be hidden because obviously the next frame you put onto that um, covers all the staples up. Next we'll have a look at um, something like glass. Uh, if you notice on this image, um, there is no rebates. The glass goes on top of the frame. We use a double-sided glazing tape, uh, and then we silicon seal behind the glass and between the glass. Um, the longer that your silicon seal is, the better it'll work. If it, that that seal there will be maybe two inches long, rather than just a half an inch um, strip 
which is easier to break. Also notice in the middle, um, there's a little nick uh, in the saw. Um, that uh, helps to seal between the frame as well. Next up, we'll have a look at uh, something like twin wall um, polycarbonate. The process with that is uh, you, you, you make your sheets a little bit oversized, uh, you screw them or you can use double sided sticky tape, uh, double sided glazing tape I should say, um, around the edges uh, and then you trim off with a flush cut after so that the, the, the dihedral angle or the bevel angle I should say is um, runs through the sheet material. So you you before the dawn goes together, the sheets trimmed and uh, finished the same size as um, the frame should be. Thicker gauged um, poly wall, like you can get three layer and five layer. Um, what you do in them circumstances is you um, cut a rebate out of the polycarbonate and just leave the very top sheet uh, overlapping the frame. And other than that, it's exactly the same. You um, use glazing tape and silicon. You can even cover with double glazing units. Um, the trick with double glazing units is that the outside um, glass needs to be um, bigger than the inside one. So you, effectively what you're doing is you're putting the rebate into the... Um, glazing unit uh, again the frame has no rebate it go the outside glass goes on the outside and the net the other glass the internal glass of your twin twin frame jobby uh, goes on the inside uh, again silicon sealed everywhere and you need a, uh, an extra fillet to support the internal glass that's the only addition uh, you need for putting double glazing in well that's about um, the, the basics anyway with the, the basics of the frame and some covering methods. Um, I will do more detail on this uh, later but for now if we check out the um, list of advantages and uh, disadvantages compared to other build methods.